Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Banished. We're using the Colonial Charter Mod version 1.6, The Forge Awakens. And this is kind of the southern edge of our new mining area, where one of the tin, the dark tin ore mine shafts have come in. Um, we've got the dark, and the next one is the deep. Looks like this guy is getting close to going in. Turn this back on. So that means we have moved miners randomly over to try to fill this guy in. We've got quite a bit of labor available now. Actually doing really good with labor. Schools are really starting to pay off. And look at that. Our numbers are still over 100, both in students and in children. So we're doing really good right now. Um, there really is no need to take nomads other than just adding excitement to the game. But... I kind of like the idea that we've got almost complete education. It's just the numbers that are getting really good. Um, we do so much better when we have educated workers, and I kind of want to keep it that way. Um, let's do that. Turn him down. Game's working pretty good right now, even with this guy sitting here. So. Something in the background of the computer has calmed down, which is probably also a contributor. You know, the computers do things on their own, whether you expect them to or not. Even though I've got no scans planned, it'll suddenly start to do something on me. But let's let's head back up to 40 on this, and I'm thinking we're going to actually shut down the copper. We're not going to make the pewter, so we don't need the copper. We're not really making copper wares. We could. Well, that's the wrong one. You're going to go to five. You're just going to turn off. So we will take five more out of here until the next mine. Oh, you're done. That's where the other five came from. Last episode, we have the five show up uh, needing work. And I really thought I had done the numbers right with the coal mines. It was the five over here that messed up. Okay. So he needs to be upgraded. Okay. So with that, um, how he just popped. Okay. Let's do five more right there. And now 10 ore. Yes. Make sure I've got all these right. Oh, you're over here. Okay. 10 ore. And. What are you doing here? You're no longer making pewterware. We could have you make copper... Uh, copper pipes. Or copperware. We do have a lot of copper in the system that we're not going to be using anymore. We could also get you working on silver. Hmm. Huh. You'll make tinware. You'll make canteens. We could sell to canteens. We have way more tin than we uh, can possibly use, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Let's turn you on. Grab two more blacksmiths. I did something wrong there. There we go. Are we... You were working? Alright, what's going on? Take you back down, back up. Alright. I don't know. Okay, that guy's going. And... What was I just going to say? Uh, ten. Ten ore, three thousand. Ten. Why am I not seeing ten here? Because it's by quantity. By name. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> I know we've got ten. Ten, right there. Twelve hundred ten. Over and beyond what we're using in all of our tinneries. And you are having a problem. No more wheat. I lost it. I did. I lost it. Right there. So wheat. Let's just grab you. There we go. Wheat. 500. What's your problem? Doesn't say how much I need to make soup. There are 19 and 10 there. We've got workers. What is the problem here? What am I not getting? 
I guess just off picking up that wheat. Here we go. He's carrying a big bundle right now. 91. And now he's happy. Aha. We probably need another wheat field. Carrots we're using. Wheat, wheat, potato, corn, cabbage, raspberry. You are a smaller one, so potatoes here on purpose. Huh. You are carrots. How are you doing? Did 860. You're a smaller field of carrots. You did 10. You get too much, too big, and they can't finish it, and it doesn't get a chance to grow. Or we had a farmer that didn't show up for work. I'm not sure which one. Let's pop in and, and take a look at these again. But these are slightly smaller, I think. These are bigger down here. Which one do we want to turn into wheat? I'm thinking it's something more like this. So let's make you wheat. Okay. So trader. Right there. And you have got a bunch of interesting items. Sand. We should be fine. Sand. 3,000. Yep. We're getting ahead of the curve again. Good. Uh, grab you. Move you. Keep you. Sand. Charcoal. Bronze. Steel tools. We're fine. Iron. We're fine. Hardwood. Where is that symbol? There you are. We're fine. In fact, we're growing. Okay. It's looking good all the way around. Um, iron or tin ore, we were fine, so we don't need to search for that anymore. Um, yep, there's nothing here that we need. Good. Stone we could use. I didn't see any in there. So, 21 laborers. We'll shrink you down. Uh, dark, you're done. You're done. These guys need housing. That will speed them up. But I, let's go ahead and and add five more. And we need storage over here. So there's some things we haven't done yet. All right. And we are doing stone, right? That's the only thing we can do here. I, I couldn't have messed it up if I tried. Good to hear. Hmm. You're there. I would like to have punched a road down underneath all of this. Okay. So we're going to have to, I guess, shoot it across there. Um... All right, stone, only stone. Okay, I'm thinking I want to put, let's see, let's do our white brick. We can go inside. Like so. In fact, for that matter, we can, now we'll just do the one. And we're going to come out this back end. Right there. Connect to this road here. And I want warehouses in here. So I'm going to put one more group of roads like so. Lots of easy walking through there. And warehouses, stone warehouses. Is there any other thing else, any other reason to put anything else here? That was an awkward way of saying that. Where is he going to store? Should he walk into here, into a warehouse system in here? Yeah, we could put something right there. I wish there was a smaller version of the material warehouse. I think it's where the gold ore is going to go. Or silver ore. This does silver as well. Okay. But stone for now. Right there. Let's put... Let's see. They're stacking at this end over here. And at this end over here. Okay. Our roads are like that. I'm going to put two of them there. Hopefully there's a space left over in the middle when I'm done. So two of them here. And that leaves three in the middle. Okay. So they can walk through. Or they can go right into their, their storage. They can walk through. They can walk through. They can walk through. And we need a pathway that heads this direction. We do have one right here. Okay. And we have one over here. 
Is there not a road in here? There is. Okay, that double road breaks into... Boy, these roads are hard to see in the, uh, in the winter. They really are. I prefer the dirt roads because you can see them when the snow's on the ground. Okay, trader just came in. That's this guy. There's something that uh, that I wanted to talk about last time and forgot about it. I know that uh, Teship Stormbringer was kind of uh, uh, trying to do some testing for me. Um, anybody wants to jump in and try this? There's a question that I have got. We have bought these before, and every single one that we have bought, we still have. Uh, pub here, new here. We bought 100 of everything except for the ale and pub meals which we're making. Let's go over to this one. Right there. The other 100s are sitting here. Scotch and wine. Except for the ale and pub meals, pub meals that we're making. So what we have bought, they will not consume. I assume that what we are um, making, they're, that they're consuming. Now, if I spend 10, 15 minutes just watching the, the pattern of people moving in and out of here, dropping off pub meals, and then, in fact, let's do that. I don't know that I'm going to be able to keep track of it, but maybe you guys can. Let's leave these here. You'll see the ale and pub meals go up as they drop them off. Do they ever go back down? 265 becomes 264, then becomes 284. That kind of a thing to show that the town inhabitants are eating consuming these two items that we are actually making everything else we have bought and they're not consuming it so I'm thinking that there's something not completed yet in the code of colonial charter 1.6 the code to enable the citizens to consume luxury goods bought at the trader is broken is not completed. That's what I'm guessing. That's what the evidence seems to suggest. So with that, I'm thinking we can go ahead and sell these 100s of everything. Anybody else who actually has some uh, 1.6 town up and running, have you bought any of these goods, the luxury goods, from the traders yet? And if you have, do you still have the same quantity that you bought hours and hours of, of playtime ago? That's what I'd like to know. So let me know if anybody has any input there. Um, it's very possible that we are consuming the pub and ale, pub meals and ale just fine. We'll maybe prove that this episode while this is running. But I don't see any point in buying any more of these because we're not going to use it. So dismiss you. And I'm thinking we're going to sell off all of these guys. They're, they're just plugging up our, uh, our storage. In fact, let's go ahead. Well, I'll do that off camera. We got other things to get done. So we were putting in storage over here, roads over here. We need to put in houses over here. We need a storage for this guy. Let's get that put in. That's him, and something like that. We'll go up one. We'll put a road in from here to there. I don't know if there's any... There might be a reason to run to here, down. And yeah, we'll go down to there and shoot across. And grab onto... There. Okay. So we have our pathing done that way and this way. Now we need more houses in this area. What are we looking at as far as our housing ratio? How far off are we? Off by 50. Okay. Not too bad. By our standards, not too bad. <laughs> We've been off by 150 before. So if I were to put in eight houses down here to help satisfy the job market in this area. We do have roads in this area too. So that's the main road. These are the residential roads over here. Okay, so through this area is where we want to be. So, housing, 
Um, this is still the blue collar uh, um, housing area, so we'll go in with the more affordable types, country homes. And we're facing this direction. <clears throat> In a road there. Right there I think works pretty good. Get two of those in. There. Oh, that one space, didn't I? Okay, one, two, one, two. You can go there. Over here, we can do two more. Uh, let's mix it up a little bit. Put a salt box over on this side. What's in here? Oh, we haven't done housing for this whole area yet. Okay, we'll do that. And we have enough white in this area. Let's add some color. There's a dark tone. Something like that. And I'm thinking the same thing, but this direction. Just hit the next year. And that finished a year. Let's get over, let's see, we're right here. Over to the fishing area over there and see how the numbers came out. What am I seeing there? There's the road. And it comes short by one space. We need to get in there and take a look at that. <clears throat> okay, there. And let's put a stone house in. Something like that. Alright, we'll let these build so I can see what that looks like. Alright, uh, no other traders are in. Nobody's coming down the river. Alright, taverns. We need to be watching this. 27,913. Actually... I'm going to ignore this. When I go back to edit it, I'll, I'll try to keep an eye on this. You guys can watch it, though, and let me know what you find. This looks blurry to me. For some reason, the water and the buildings in this area, it just something's off. When I get closer, it looks good. But the shimmer, probably my graphic settings are doing that. All right. <clears throat> so we've got the dock that has no obstructions, but has a long way to go to find housing. How far? We haven't added housing over here, so we're probably hurting pretty bad. Well, that's not great. How's your housing, though? Ha! 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 Just as bad. In fact, one, two, three out of the four. Who's living in here? Ah, we're sharing with these guys. Okay. So if we were to put some more housing over here somewhere, it would leave these to this one. I see. So how did we do... You brought in 2,000-ish, almost. You brought in 1,100. All three times I have looked at these, this has been the worst one. Hey, I've never seen that before. He brings in all three? I didn't realize that. I thought I had to choose. There's no picking. All right, well, tell you what. Laborers are 18. We can go up to 2. We can go up to 5. So let's add 7 more. Okay. Nice. Nice graphics. And that is work. Not quite uh, all synchronized yet. Well, I guess so. That's a minor. This is a... Are they really called a placer, placer miner? No. No, you're just miners. So they've changed the symbol here, but they have not changed it for the other one. Okay. Those are done. And I don't know what to make of this. I guess it's still not a fair test because these guys are not living here. So we need to get these guys some housing. Hmm these guys too all right so where's your sphere of influence right there and yours is right there so we have this available that available and that available and that one let's fill these voids with houses 
and a dock that shoots through. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Nomads. Hmm. We'll see. But I'm going to do this first. <laughs> Housing. Um, I'm liking the uh, the uh, small ones, small footprints that are upgraded. So front door is there. Now can I go? I can. Let's do that. Let's go there. And there. Well, it could be like that. And then a, a, a dock in between. And I'm not sure if that's enough to make... Just one, huh? To make it to the front door. I guess it would be. But we'll do that anyway. And it feels like I missed a dock over here at one point. Yeah, this corner. Okay. Otherwise, everything's happy over here. He came in. This is our basically our herbalist. So we'll add him into there. Um, so we got houses in there. And let's pop in houses through here. Since I don't really have room on, on land to do it. Well, I actually could do something right here. But let's go ahead and we'll just continue our little community over here. That is this space here. Um... Same pattern. The shanty. What do we got here? Place for a family of four in moderate warmth. And five in warmth and comfort. The upgrade, does it mention warmth? Are we shooting ourselves in the foot by... As... Five people as well as better warmth and comfort. Okay, so this probably takes it up to the same grade as the as the larger version once we do the upgrade. Okay, so that's not it right there. So he can face out. He goes in. One space for a dock. He goes out. So, docks in between, and I'm thinking three is enough. It should get to the front door. Did I miss that? House, dock. I missed it. Alright, do it again. Yep. Alright, you guys are all gone. We'll try that one more time. So, house... that one. Alright, you are facing that way. You're that way. You're this way. And an extra space. Alright, let's get the docks in. I want to see this again. Oh, oh, I hit it right the first time. It doesn't go in between. It goes right there. Okay. I am losing my mind. One, two, three, four, and dock. All right. I did have it right the first time. Okay. And the last one goes on the other side of that dock. And he... faces that way. He should be right there. There's the dock I put in right there. Okay. So five, six, seven more houses. That's ten more jobs. That should really help this area a lot. Okay, so there's five houses there. And we just put in... Well, I can't really see the footprints, but I'm thinking five or six went into this area. So maybe the timing is right for nomads. What have we got here? Not that many. Although they are over here too. Yeah, they're over there too. It's kind of looking like a 
horror movie. <laughs> the uh, the Twilight Zone. Oh, they're over here too. Oh, they're at the back. Oh, they're behind the building. Wow. I don't know. This is looking a little creepy to me. Nomads. 69. That's the same or very close to what we turned down accidentally last time. Since I was willing to take them last time and they haven't thrown 150 at us, all right. We're going to hit the the allow that's on this side, not the allow that's on that side. <laughs> okay. They're ours. For good or for, for bad. For better or for worse. Through sickness and in health. All right. Do we turn on a school now? How are we doing? Doing fine there. Let's go ahead and walk through our schools. We have one down here. That is a school. That one's full. It takes 20. Okay. This school here is full. It takes 20. This school chapel. School takes 50. He's almost full. Students are 132. Boy, what did we have before? I don't know. We added 30 to 35, maybe? Here they come. <laughs> Alright, let's get some builders going. And... Hmm... We have a lot more mouths, so we don't, we're not in danger of hitting 99999 yet. I was wondering, do we put in our hunters again? I think we do. Let's get our hunters going again. Of course, that uh, throws things off in the uh, over on the other side as far as housing goes. Uh, let's go ahead and find all of the jobs that kind of got shorted for a while. Any other little... Oh, discrepancies in here. Sugar boilers. Okay, must be the maple sap. Alright, that's all good there. Let's work up this way. From Hunter North. Everything looks fine there. The threes, I guess where I left off. Alright, I'm not seeing any other problems there. Farmers are fine. I'll go back and check that at the end of the episode. We're coming up on close to a half hour now. So I'm recording this one right after the other one. So I think this is Friday's episode, if I'm recalling correctly. Which means next episode I record, I'm going to make it two to three hours long. And put it out there and just see what you guys think. Hey, let's do, let's do herbs. Let's plant Herb over here. Herb. He was done fairly early. Where is he at? There's Herb. And... Two workers. And the chapel is full. Chapel is full. Chapel is full. Okay. Church over here. Well, if we have another one over here. You're kidding. It's full. Wow. We have got a devout membership here. We are filling the pews. Um, here. How are we doing here? We are filling our material warehouse. We've got some iron stone all kinds of goods 300 clay of course no wood and no fuel down here okay let's put a church in here for these houses um that one that one and do we go the medium size we cannot so we'll go the smaller size and there's no upgrading these right where's that other one he's right over there i don't believe there's any upgrading these Oh, okay. There's a well right there next to the school. I was thinking, we didn't take out that school next to that well, did we? That's kind of odd. Nope, we didn't. 
Doesn't really matter. Oh, I forgot there's two different looks to this church. Huh. Yeah, we'll do that one. And we'll kick them back a little bit. And we'll separate them. Okay. So that one is there. Lots of crops in. I was going to take these grapes out, but they look good right there. I'm just going to leave them. I guess kind of an interesting way to decorate the map. Set up a, a, an orchard of whatever color you're looking for, and then delete it. Or, you know, delete the orchard, but not necessarily the trees, and leave some sporadically where you want to. Um, all right, I'm kind of scatterbrained here. Let's see, how are we doing out over here? We got this guy in. All of these are in. That's looking pretty good there. I popped in a surprise over here. Where was he? Where was that? There he is. Got our outhouse in. Can't see him through the trees, though. Probably should put several of those all around the map. Hey, we got two different kinds of, uh, of uh, water towers. I've got to start hitting that, that F button more often and toggle through and see what my, my choices are. Um, here's something I noticed between episodes. We bought the, we built the second mulberry plantation or orchard, and we're actually doing really good in, in mulberry leaves now. Let's see, mulberry... There you are. Four, almost going on 5,000 mulberry leaves. It's time to open this guy back up. So we'll turn him on. We have two in there. Okay. We'll go ahead and put two in here. Alright, so that's going again. He's going fine. Linen. Let's take a look at that. We have lots of silk stored. That's right here now. So, linen. Got to figure out 800 linen. Silk. 900. We have enough, I think, to run a second one, which is making the full livery, which is selling for, let's get ready for this guy, full livery. I've got some in all three, I believe. Selling for 20. Okay. Yeah. We have another clothier waiting over there waiting for, uh, for an assignment. So, what's in here? Still have 15 people without houses. Tin ore is fine. Silver ore would be nice. Bronze and bronze tools. Iron ore. I don't see anything here that we really need. Still no stone. Well, I wish they'd bring me stone. You know, I just might have to actually place an order for stone. Now, if I set it to purchase, Will that be the same as, as setting an order, or placing an order? In other words, if we're willing to purchase it, will they bring it as if we had ordered it? Don't know. Let's put in 500 to see what happens. We'll, we'll learn here. So that's in, trade, dismiss, and go. All right, we'll find out what happens with that. Um, so I'm going through last episodes notes that we didn't get finished one of them was to continue the the key walls over to this bridge so let's do that just to complete the look that we were creating here I'll slow you back down so I can enjoy this a little bit more um, theme sets right yeah and I'm gonna use all the ghost ones in here so that we can we can build when it Whenever and however feels right. Now, how did we come off of that one? It was a square and it had to jump. There's no way. I wonder if there was a way. Yeah, that transition does look better. I like that. Let's do that. And then we'll come in with this guy. Oh, I have to move out of the way. Okay. Or that was a coincidence. So, can I just pop in and delete this guy? I cannot. I can click on him and do that. Ah, okay. 
So let's go back to here. What was that last one? We had a Forester. No. Oh, we had a Miner die in a cave-in. Okay. And more laborers coming in. Wow. Yep. We are seeing the fruit of our labor. Got the all those schools going and yeah, that transition I think is gonna be better. Now that's the wrong one. Well that's fine. We're not gonna build something right there, I don't believe. So I want this single one to do that. Hello. There you go. Alright, so let's work this corner here. Now, by doing the ones that are not ghost, we could do something nice and round like that. Now, you guys. Now, I used these over here. I never got back to finish it. See the, the, the sawtooth look right here. These clean this up, but they are not ghost. So if we go to build something here, we're going to have to manually get rid of them. It leaves a nice look. But if we were to go and put a building here, you can see the, uh, the the red squares there. So we'll have to manually delete those guys to put anything in this area. But until we do, it'll look good. So same thing here. We could diagonal there. In fact, let's do that. Where'd they go? There. There. And... I suppose like that and that. Let those pop in. Yep, that, that cleans it up. Um, got a trader who's brought us a whole variety of stuff. Okay, <laughs> let's think about this. Carrots we're using. Though I don't think we're ever going to use them all. find out. Carrots? Just saw you. There's still 7,000 carrots. Yeah, we don't need to buy them. Pigs, cheese, milk I would like to get. Gold gilder. Frock coats. I don't remember seeing that one. Oh, there you are. Uh... Leather and cloth. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, lost my little dude there. There you are. Leather. So cloth, we're making with the cotton. And we have lots of cotton in stock. Cloth, 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 cloth. CL, cloth down. So 4,300. Leather, <clears throat> Let's see, 2,800. We're using the leather, I believe, let's see here. We're using leather and wool for pea coats for both of these guys. Okay. We could turn one of them to frock. Let's do that. And I'll leave him pinned there before I forget. This other guy was supposed to be assigned to this guy. Put one in. And he's going to be making the silk and linen ones right there. Um, any reason to boost these guys further? We could. Two in there. I see, we are doing two in all of them. Okay. So that's taken care of now. Alright, so frock coats. Kale seeds, sugar cane. Sugar cane. We're using sugar beets. And we, yeah, there's no point in mixing them right now. Maybe we'll do sugar cane over in the in the north area, and we'll process sugar out of that there. Uh, bean, gold, yeah, we're good. Okay, dismiss you. And what should we do to finish up this episode? We were doing this, and let's spend a little more time right in here. Then we'll probably call this one done. So... I'm thinking we want to diagonal out of here like that. Is 
is that where we want to right there like that and that might be a good way to transition this bridge that's interesting so this one this one yeah now what does that do to the it kind of blends our, our stone in a little better there huh okay so that looks good let's put in some of our diagonals do that. They do not interact with the road. I gotta I gotta choose that or road, I see. Let's let's do that. This is gonna look odd from a distance. So let's unroad those two. Let's add road. Dirt for now till we figure out what we want to do here. Okay. All right, so our park. <clears throat> How are we going to continue here? Hey, that's right. We get it all cleared out now. So let's get back to our stone road. That's looking good. I don't know what to do to decorate the rest of this yet. I assume we want some benches, maybe even some uh, stonework. You know, uh, uh, plaza. Plaza. Where was that? I'm trying to think of where that was. That wasn't in the road. This one. Now, flattening aesthetic plaza pieces for decorations in certain flatland conditions. And what are you? Corduroy Road. That's our wood plank road that I couldn't find. Clear back in episode 3. When I, I had used roads, or I, I had used uh, wooden roads in, I think it was 155. At least that's what I remembered. But I couldn't find them in, as a road choice. It's hiding over here. It, it looked like a boardwalk. It looked really good. In fact, that might make some good sidewalks going in. Only it won't let me. It goes red. That's strange. So I can't sidewalk into that. Whereas I can road into it. So they don't work in all situations. Huh. I don't know that I want to chance them here, but how would we use these guys? What would this look like? What else is in here? Besides a couple of benches, um, is there a fountain in here? Influenza. We have influenza. Came in with the, uh, with our, our grungy little nomads. Um, let's get back to the stone road, or stone wall real quick, and we'll call this episode done. So, decorations, walls, we're using the low ones, and where would the next natural break be? Zoom out a little bit. He's heading into the hospital. Still just one. Ooh, we may contain this outbreak really quick. He's not out there working still. So, we've got an opening here, nice stone wall there. I'm thinking one more opening here-ish. And then we'll curve around and go back in. That was my thought. So something like that. Maybe one more. And then an end. Two spaces. And then we'll duplicate what's happening over here. So one. And then the turn. Is that going out too far? It's not symmetrical anymore. But that'll let us do something over here that's different. Maybe this will be a nice sitting plaza. Although we're going to have a little bit of problems here with our uh, our uh, embankment. But one more road. Start a turn. That's the right one. Right there. Okay. Alright, so how do we end this one? I guess it just ends like that this time. That leaves us this much room to do something. I don't know what that's going to be. It might just be a big tree or something. <laughs> we can put in... Uh... Yeah, there we go. You know, that, that is a startling tree compared to everything else in here. But that actually looks really good right there. Alright, I 
clicked accidentally, but that's what we're going to get. All right, he goes there. So we'll let these guys build. Got our two spaces there, right? I think there's two spaces right there. Oh, there's another one. And there's a third one somewhere. Okay, so with that, I think I've got to call this one done. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about a long Saturday episode. Extra long. And if that works, we might just make that a tradition. Kind of a weekend bonus. Rather than doing double uploads, which do take a lot more time to to uh, render individually and, and all that work. I'd rather just do one great big long one. Let me know what you think about that idea. So this has been Noble Rambler. And I'm going to call this one done. I thank you guys for watching. Hit the like and subscribe down there if you would. And I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye, folks.